Hi everyone. Riding in the country with my lovely wife on the back on the spider in North Carolina. Came up here for the weekend. Uh, I haven't been out doing many motive vlogs lately. I've had so many other things going on and you know and you always like to try to come up with a topic or something like that. And I just something just occurred to me, something that I see an awful lot right now, now that we're in the uh, throes of a presidential election and we're getting down to the wire here not that many months till November uh, but uh, the term likability what does likability mean to you I mean they're, they're applying it to the candidate saying that this candidate has more likability than the other or, or less likability and you know is it important that you like your leaders is it important that that uh, the people you vote for, you think that they're nice people or that they deserve to be liked, you know. Uh, some people seem to think that uh, to be the leader of a country you have to be a, you have to be willing to be disliked because of the decisions that you might have to make at one time or another. You know, a lot of people didn't like, uh, didn't like our response to 9-11. A lot of people did. You know, you just, you never know, you know, well, how people are going to go. And, you know, do, and should you seek likability? I mean, do you want to be liked? Now, I was, a, I was a salesman, a commissioned salesman for most of my working life. And it's important to be likable. <laughs> I had to have a high likability rating if I was going to get return customers. So... I've always strove, always strove to be, uh, to do uh, what I needed to do to, to get the customer's trust and to, to uh, make the customer want to come back to me. And that meant getting him the right stuff at the right time and hopefully at the right price and having a good attitude about it. You know, I see salespeople all the time and I consider waitresses and waiters, they're salespeople just as well as I was, uh, see them all the time and they just they just have an attitude that you know just says don't like me you don't you know I don't like you you don't have to like me and you know in, in my case and in theirs as well most the majority of their income results from how likable they were you know how attentive they were to you you know whether you thought they did a good job whether you liked what they did uh -oh. you know everybody tries wants to be liked I mean you know we teach our kids from from a very early age you know to to be nice, to, to treat people well, and to be likable. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that, you know? It's just, uh, I just, it just made me wonder when you start talk, applying it to other subjects besides individuals, you start talking about politics, you know, is a likable president what we want? Everybody gives, you know, when, when Trump first came on the stage, he was very vocal about what he wants to do with the border and what he wants to do with people that are here in the country illegally. And everybody said, you know, so many people said, oh, he's a racist. Oh, he's saying, you know, you can't say stuff like that. Well, you know, the last time I checked, we still have a First Amendment. And he realizes that. And he wants to be sure that we all have the ability to speak. You may not like what somebody says. That's not your right to do anything about that. You're, you're, you don't have to listen, but you don't have any right to shut anybody down. Now, Hillary's the same way. Hillary's been around for a long, long time. Over 30 years of public, of public uh, being in the public, being on the government payroll, let's put it that way. I guess you could fairly say as first lady, she was on the government payroll. Um, and uh, she has uh, extremely high unlikability numbers because of some of the things that she's been involved in. Most recently, uh, this FBI probe. Uh, so, you know, would that necessarily disqualify her from being a good president? I don't know. I think it does. But then again, you know, that's just my opinion. You may feel differently. I'm not here to promote or, or to promote one or the other. I do have a, a one that I prefer. And that's not really a secret. <laughs> but anyway, um, what do you think about likability? Is that something that's important to a public official? 
Is it important to somebody who has power over our lives that they be likable? How about competent? I mean, would you rather have them be competent? Would you rather have them be morally principled? Would you rather ha have them uh, be uh, uh, follow the Constitution, or just re or just write it as they go along? They're all quite good, interesting questions that come up this time of uh, the election cycle. Interested in hearing what you have to say. Okay. Everybody have a great day. We sure are. And take care.